Canada secured a 1-0 victory over world champions the United States to set up a women's Olympic football final against Sweden at Tokyo 2020. Jesse Fleming scored Canada's winner from the penalty spot after Deanne Rose was fouled by Tierna Davidson inside the box at the Kashima Stadium. Canada will face Sweden in Friday's gold medal match. Fridolina Rolfo scored the only goal as Sweden beat Australia to reach their second successive Olympic final. Having been favourites to win the tournament, Vlatko Andonovsky's US side will compete for bronze on Thursday against Australia, when the Matildas will play in an Olympic women's football medal match for the first time. After reaching the final of every women's Olympic football event since its introduction in 1996, the U.S. have now failed to reach the final in successive games. Beverly Priestman's Canada are guaranteed at least silver in Tokyo, meaning midfielder Quinn will be the first openly transgender athlete to win an Olympic medal. Canada and Quinn won bronze in Rio 2016 before Quinn came out in September 2020. Canada scored with their only shot on target to beat their neighbours for the first time since March 2001. Davidson's foul on substitute Rose was initially missed by referee Katerina Monzel, but the Ukrainian pointed to the spot after the video assistant referee, VAR showed the Canadian was kicked as they both challenged for a loose ball. Substitute goalkeeper Adriana French guessed the right way, but Fleming found the bottom corner for the 75th minute winner. French had replaced U.S. first choice Alyssa Nahar in just the 30th minute after the hero of their quarter-final penalty shootout win over the Netherlands had landed awkwardly following a challenge by Nichelle Prince. The U.S. dominated possession in the second half and had six shots on target, but could not find a way past goalkeeper Stephanie Lab. It sucks. We just didn't have it today, said U.S. forward Megan Rapinoe. Just too many errors from us again. Obviously we never want to lose to Canada, I don't think I've ever lost to Canada. So it's a bitter one. I've been thinking about the whole tournament and we just didn't have that juice that we normally do.